you know, if we even look at the word team, the word team could essentially be broken down. Like if you look at it like an acronym, you know, and uh, so, you know, the, the word T for team, you could say is really around transparency. So it's really important that everybody is uh, really aligned. Everyone's on the same page. There's no sort of internal little this or that going on. Everyone's really connected and, and understands what we're all working towards. So transparency is really key. Um, another, you know, part of that then E, you know, for in team would be to do with efficiency. So looking at systems, ways that um, things can be optimised and, um, yeah, getting the best outcome for people in a very um, efficient and direct way, yeah. Um, so efficiency is really important because, you know, you can waste a lot of time doing uh, work, which, you know, it seems like it's really important, but it doesn't actually help. Uh, the people you're working with or, or looking after members. So, you know, doing things intelligently is really important. Uh, then A in the word team would be around accountability. So everyone's got the things that they got to do and they're accountable for that and they've got to report back and say, you know, so it, that's really about integrity and being congruent with your agreements and, and um, everyone holding each other witness to that I think is really important. Um, and then M in team, uh, the last letter would be about meaning. And um, I sort of put that in there is because it's, it's really about finding like what's your core purpose in the vision, um, you know, why you exist. Um, so about bringing meaning to the work that you do. So it's not just work um, or it's not like you're know, solving a problem for a person or but it's really about doing that in a way that really connects with people and, and interacts and, and really solves the problem for that person in a really meaningful way. So I think meaning is important and purpose and alignment, accountability, transparency, efficiency. Yeah, they're, they're all pillars, I think, in business. And uh, any entrepreneur who um, wants to build something bigger than just themselves, you know, you need um, a great group of people around you. And uh, part of the struggle for me uh, personally in my journey was about uh, being a bit of a people pleaser and trying to, um, you know, sometimes people weren't being so accountable or they weren't being overly transparent and I'd be like, oh, I really want to just be nice and, and, you know, get them to like me. And so I'll just, you know, go along with something that isn't really working. Um, so part of it for me was being a little bit like really clear and, and uh, knowing that I could be really firm about what we needed to do and our KPIs and so forth and and holding people accountable to their agreements. And when we did that, we got certainly a lot of alignment. And um, when you're really clear in yourself too, I, I believe you really attract the right kind of people, yeah? You attract giants into your business, yeah? People who can do things better than you can have different skill set, you know? So I think that's really important as well to... Um, be open to, you know, not just trying to replicate yourself, but actually create uh, a space where new people can come in who have great skill and talent and, you know, can help grow you and your business. That sort of idea. 